So everyone is always asking us why did we call Gravity Sketch Gravity Sketch? And the answer is actually quite simple. <laughs> um, the you know people guess a lot. The the most popular answer, uh, the most popular yeah guess is that yeah because you're sketching in space and you have these um, you know your sketches are, are floating in air like in mid air then they don't have gravity and that's why we called it gravity and not really like the answer is a bit more connected to the to the design process and the research project that we followed when we were doing gravity sketch so if you don't know this gravity sketch was actually a research project a, a design project that uh, we did um, back in in when we were studying at rca and imperial and the um, yeah what we were looking for was to enable people uh, we wanted to know what goes on in people's minds when they're going through a creative process and we wanted to empower people to create and collaborate in the quickest and most intuitive way possible when they're working on three-dimensional concepts and ideas so you know during the whole during the whole project we were doing a lot of sketching and doodling shay and i are designers and engineers so by nature we we doodle a lot we we visually represent our ideas quite a bit so you know, we had all these like sticky notes and, and, and pieces of paper with like doodles representing the things that we were trying to, you know, like brainstorm on or talk about. And we kept drawing this, um, this person, you know, we all, we all know how to represent uh, an idea. We all understand when, you know, when a person has like a little cloud over their heads and a light bulb in that cloud, uh, it means that they're having an idea so we kept representing this little guy in like all of the things that we were working on so like this guy with with the cloud above his head or her head um with um yeah with the light bulb there was everywhere and we were trying to come up with an interesting name for the project that we were working on and nothing nothing would come up and so we, you know, we kept thinking about it and nothing really interesting came up until one day we, we were talking and we said, you know what, um, what we're actually trying to do with this project is to enable this light bulb to come down. We're helping, we're trying to help people materialize their ideas, like bring them out of their head bring them down of, down of like from that cloud so we're actually giving gravity to these ideas and this is um you know the tool that we're making is is giving gravity to these ideas so let's call it gravity and and yeah that that sounded really good um and we just you know carried on with with that name for a while when we were putting it out there just creating the website and like just yeah, you know, like started to get a bit of attention in the media, um, we realized that we were going to be competing with another gravity. So this was around in around like 2013, 2014, when you know we were we were working on this and and the movie Gravity had just come out. Um, and you know, so you had Gravity, our project, and you had the movie. And obviously, the movie was winning all of the search results. <laughs> our project was like obviously really small. And then we said, okay, maybe Gravity 3D. But obviously, like the movie, you were meant to watch it um, in 3D, like uh, with these 3D glasses. So uh, Gravity 3D wasn't uh, the right way to go about it. <laughs> So, you know, we, we started thinking a little bit deeper and, you know, sketch was a really important part of, you know, a really important insight gathered throughout the research in our project. Um, and, you know, as you know, in Gravity Sketch, sketch is a really important part of the experience that you have and the way that you use the tool. And this is because when we were doing our research and like, you know, doing all of the uh, you know, interviews and like really trying to understand you know, the creative process, we realized that um, sketch is something really natural for human beings. We have been visually representing our ideas since the beginning of, you know, mankind, as opposed to like written form that is something really new if you think about it. So, 
you know, when when we were doing our, our research project and like design process and so on, we like from very early on we decided that sketch was going to be something really important for for the entire um, experience that you would go through for you know materializing your ideas. And so when we were trying to figure out how to make gravity be a bit more, yeah, have its own place in the world. Um, we realized that sketch would be a nice addition to it. So, you know, that's when sketch came to the picture. So, you know, yeah, that's how we called, like why we called gravity sketch, gravity sketch. And one really important thing, thing now to, to think about, like this was the first product that we, that we launched and it's the product that we all uh, know and everybody knows us by, but, uh, Another part of the ecosystem um, where gravity sketch ex yeah, like, yeah, where gravity sketch exists is landing pad. So um, from you know that very early on when we were doing the research project, when we were doing this uh, yeah this design process, we we were thinking about you know you have this tool that is allowing you to materialize your ideas, to conceptualize them, to create them, to make them. But then where do all of these ideas land? And so they land obviously on the landing pad. And so we, we created the landing pad. Back then it was something very different, but the, the concept is like remains the same. Is where ideas are going to land, when they're, where they're going to exist, and where they're also going to be exchanged with other people. So landing pad is basically the one collecting this um, this collaboration of ideas, whether they're, you know, like with yourself only or with other people. So this is, um, yeah, this is the origin of these two names, these two different products that we have going on in the, in the Gravity Sketch ecosystem. Um, and something really important to mention here is that these two products are always um, trying to follow our design principles something really important for us. So um, whatever we do, whatever we develop, however we think about the tools um, that, we, that we create, need to follow these three design principles. So simple set of rules, physicality, and immediacy. This is to make sure that all of the research, all of the understanding on how people think when they're going through a creative process and how to enable someone to create in the quickest and most intuitive way possible, they like they like yeah all of that research basically cascades and 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 is encapsulated or like almost um, restrained in these three design pillars and this is something really important because when you're doing software you can essentially create whatever you want you know you you have to code it but the sky is the limit but you need to be careful. To, in our case, um, we want to create a tool that is in, as intuitive as possible. We want the tool to almost be invisible. We want the user, the person creating or the person having a communication, like a three-dimensional communication with someone, to be the one driving the, the tool and not the opposite. We don't want the tool to be driving the person, if that makes sense. So um, making sure that you know gravity sketch and landing pad follow these design pillars, these these three pillars that we have, is something that we're really like always on top of to make sure that we're giving our users the best possible experience. So yeah, this is the origin of gravity sketch and landing pad, and I'm glad to be sharing it because yeah, not a lot of people know about it. <laughs>